All right, morning. I just wanted to make a quick tutorial here on how to inject the DK64 practice ROM or really any ROM hack. Uh, this also works with Tag Anywhere, but inject any DK64 ROM hack onto the Wii U Virtual Console. I'm going to assume you already have your Wii U homebrewed uh, with whatever custom firmware you want. I'm going to be using HackG for this video. If you don't, uh, you can come to Balam's Practice ROM website. I'll link this in the description. You can also find it in the DK64 Discord in the Practice ROM channel. Come over to the installation guide, prerequisites, Wii U VC. I highly recommend using Tutorial 2. This is the one I use to get my Wii U homebrewed. Uh, you don't have to watch the whole video. This goes over, this goes into Cold Boot HackG, which is a permanent change. You don't need to do that just as long as you get whatever firmware installed. So once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and patch the DK64 ROM with the practice ROM. So we need to use the web patcher. Beat doesn't work. I've tried it before, it just, it crashes. Uh, so go to the web patcher and then you need to just drag and drop or choose your DK64 ROM. I'm not gonna give this to you. You're gonna have to get it yourself. But just select your ROM. We're gonna do version 1.3 for this. Uh, the later two are a bit unstable, despite what this guy says. Uh, there's a few crashing issues that Balm's trying to work out right now. Uh, but 1.3 for sure works and is stable. So we're going to download that. I'm going to save it here with the rest of my ROMs. So once that's done, we're going to come back, go to the installation guide, inject to Wii U. And then this video is basically just a video version of these text instructions. So you're going to need the Phacos injector which you just come to the GBA temp thread here and download this guy. Then you'll need the DK64 base, which you come to this YouTube video. You don't actually have to watch it. Uh, just come down to the description and download the DK64 base here. And then for the config file, you'll download config.zip, save it wherever. Um, and then there'll be one file you need to pull out of that for DK64. Once you have all those downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and open up Phacos Injector. And the first thing you need to do here is go to settings and add the Wii U common key. Again, I'm not gonna give this to you. You're gonna to have to go find it yourself. Um, but once you get it put in correctly, you'll have a green check here and it's just gonna stay like that forever. So come back to main, choose the practice ROM you downloaded and then for short name, you can just you know call it whatever you want. I like to name mine DK64 Practice ROM and then the version. And then come to load base and you're gonna load the DK64 base that you downloaded. It should have downloaded as just a folder of you know, .ini files. Just load the whole directory in. So that'll take a moment, it's gonna do its thing. And then here you should see this hash and then title would be Super Mario 64 slash Donkey Kong 64. Uh, so once that's good and you have the green check mark, last thing you need to do is load the config file. So again, that directory you downloaded that has a bunch of config files. There's this long list of them. The one you're looking for is capital U and DOE 0.556. You're gonna open that and then come to injecting, do pack. And this is where our SD card is gonna matter. So you're gonna have your SD card. It's gonna be formatted as a FAT32 storage device. Uh, it should be by default, I believe. Uh, the directories that matter here are gonna be your apps directory, which mine is full of Wii stuff. I use this for my Wii and my 3DS. Um, you can use the same SD card for all of this. Your hack chief folder should look like this. Your install directory, which is where all of your, delete this for the sake of the tutorial, which is where all of your injects will be. Um, your saves folder, which should be empty. And your Wii U folder, which has apps in the payload from when you loaded hack chief on. So that's what your SD card should look like. So if we go back here, Navigate over to the SD card, and then you're gonna save your inject in the install directory. So this will take a moment. So 
So it's completed successfully, and if you come back to your install directory on your SD card, you should see the practice run there. So now we're going to remove that and flip over to the Wii U. I need to put this card in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to load Hackchi. You just click on it, don't do anything. And then we're going to go to HackG again, but this time we're going to hold A on the gamepad to load the homebrew channel. If you didn't touch any config files when you installed HackG, it should be A by default. Uh, some people it'll be B. So still holding A the whole time. Now the homebrew channel is loaded. We're going to go over to the WAP installer. And then here we're going to switch to the gamepad. Mine is cracked, but you can still see what's going on. Um, so we're going to select the DK64 practice ROM. And then the bottom right button here is install. Yes, we want to install it. And you're going to install it on the left here. It'll say NAND. That's your uh, internal storage. So you're going to install it there. And it's going to think for a moment. It'll look like it's taking you back to the menu. It's going to take you back to WAP installer. So that's what the gamepad looks like, and then on the TV screen you can see that it's actually installing now. So it takes quite a while, but it's not super long. So once that's done, just go ahead and click in the middle here. And then it'll take you back to the Me Maker. Sorry, it'll do this and then it'll take you to the Me Maker. So just keep pressing home. and then close out of this. Let's come back here. So this is important for every, if you don't have cold boot, for every time you want to load the practice ROM, you're gonna to need to boot into HackG first, otherwise the Wii U is gonna crash. It won't brick, but you will have to hard reset it. So now once that's loaded, we'll go to our newly injected practice ROM. It's got to do its first time prep. Okay. And once you're through all the menus, it should take you straight to the main menu instead of the wrap. You should see a D green DK like this. And then just start up adventure mode and everything should be working. So you can pause, press D up to get to the menu. You know, we can warp to jungle japes if we want. Press down to change Kongs. Everything should be working. If you were on, or if you used the beat patcher, 
uh, the experience I had with it is that pressing D down would crash and pausing the game would also crash. Uh, so that's why we have to use the web patcher or the lunar patcher for older versions. But yeah, I uh, hope this helps some of you guys.